I just want to take the time to say I'm sorry to anybody who has wrote me in the past. Uh, I'm still trying to figure this all out, and uh, I did receive a couple comments from a few, a few people, and uh, I apologize. Uh, I will try to get you back as soon as I figure it out. Second of all, um, I'm really surprised at how many hits on this green belt. Uh, I put it up not even thinking it was just, you know, there you go. There's one of the belts in the studio here, and uh, I'm really surprised. Uh, I mean, people, and it doesn't, and I want to say thank you to all my international friends. Uh, actually, this is why this title was uh, was created, was because I noticed there was a lot of people that hit my page internationally, and um, so I, I, when I was creating this title, and we wanted to retire, actually, we wanted to retire this TV belt, and because um, I'm not a big replica fan. Uh, I feel they hold no value, and a lot of indies use replicas. So I just wanted to get rid of that, and I wanted, still wanted the TV title. But uh, I think nobody really watches TV anymore. That's why we come up with the viral title. And, uh, and one of the questions that was asked on that, too, was the vinyl on it. Are they, are they flexible? Yes, they, they're really flexible. And uh, they're really sturdy, actually, too. I mean, they'll hold up, you know. They hold up, and uh, sorry about that. Uh, and the Unify titles there. I, somebody asked me about the Unify title, uh, the, the, the match that just happened. I personally don't care. Uh, I think I think it's sad. I mean, Buddy Rogers was actually the first Unified champion, holding both the WWF title and the NWA title at the same time, and then. You know, they did it several other times, and when they gave Triple H the belt, I think Triple H, I mean, I know this is probably going to piss a lot of people off. I don't like Triple H worth a shit, okay? I think he's a terrible wrestler. And uh, for him to even be world champion, I mean, that's what I think. But anyway, uh, the underrated tag team. Somebody wrote me about being an underrated tag team. That goes to the Fantastics. If you can watch a Mid-South here on this YouTube, and you can watch uh, some UWF, I'm telling you, watch the Fantastics. They were really, I mean, to me, were one of my favorite tag teams. Uh, when they made it to the NWA, I felt like they didn't really give them the push they should have got. I mean, they made them United States champion, but they needed to be tag champs. They should have at least thrown them a bone on that because there could have been a lot of great matches on that. And uh, finally, uh, finally, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I lost my track. But anyway... I do thank you for your time, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, I appreciate hearing from you, and I, I like seeing the, the post. Thank you.